might be getting sorry, we might be getting a little ahead of ourselves with this, but why not? Why not? <laughs> Let's just do it. Uh, at the time of recording this, we could run this tomorrow and maybe this is like totally behind in the news cycle and doesn't even make sense to run anymore. But at the time of recording this, it's noon on Tuesday, December 12th. We're running this on Wednesday. Jawan Howard is still the head coach at the University of Michigan. At this point, we expect that to be the case. I don't know what's going on behind closed doors. Uh, there, They have told reporters that there's an investigation. To me, an investigation would mean we just need to look at the film of our practice facility. Seems pretty straightforward. Well, that should take about five minutes. And uh, we're 48 hours into the news of this breaking and still an investigation, I guess. I don't know. Um, to me, that signals that either the decision makers involved are unhappy with Juwan and have told him you need to take steps to prepare to leave this program, or that signals that Juwan Howard is adamant behind closed doors that he's not leaving the program. And Michigan's trying to figure out how to handle it from a PR perspective. One of those two things I believe are happening. We'll have to wait and see. But obviously, any given moment this week, we could get news that uh, either Juwan is stepping away or Juwan is doubling down and saying he did nothing wrong. Either way, that would change this conversation. But at the time of recording, we don't know. It's all up in the air. It's still behind closed doors being investigated. With that said, John Beeline tweeted, couple hours ago cart he tweeted Uh oh he tweeted you know what he was tweeted he, was he just, was, wait was he just pressing buttons again no this this time he had an intentional tweet and that's a big oh. deal that's a big deal for john beeline he is going on the huge show and we, we don't love to promote other people's shows unless uh it's there's a good reason for it i don't know the huge show guys but today at 5 25 p.m john beeline is going on the huge show to talk opinions on michigan Michigan State, Big Ten, and the Pistons. You listen on the radio. Uh, apparently, someone told me John Beeline's been doing this weekly for months. John Beeline just hasn't tweeted that he's going on for his appearance in a month. So maybe some great marketing from Mr. Beeline. Maybe uh, he knows people might want to know about his opinions on Michigan sports right now. With that said, it just got me thinking, man. It just got me thinking. If Juwan Howard were actually to leave... Phil Martelli is going to be named the interim head coach. That's going to happen. Would you hire John Beeline? Like you, like, are we talking about just for the rest of the season or just like moving forward? John Beeline's the guy. I think I'm talking like make the hire, what whatever that means. Like the the I, next I, head no. coach you hire is John Beeline. I wouldn't. Okay. I would. I have doubts that John Beeline could operate in this era. Um, I think he's a great coach. Don't get me wrong. Like, I, I got all the faith in Beeline as coaching players. I think he could do a great job with the group of players that Michigan has now, to be honest with you. But I just have serious doubts that in the NIL and portal era, if he can operate, especially with the limitations that Michigan has as an administration, it's going to take a special coach that knows how to work NIL administration and portal to operate in the setting that is Michigan basketball right now. Um, yeah. But with that said, Gregory, my tinfoil hat on, what time is Beeline going on? Five something, five twenty-five. I need, I need to know what the, what the, I need to know the exact time. Five twenty-five PM Eastern. Do you know what the area code is for Ann Arbor? No. Five two five. Okay. All right. I also I also just made that up. It is not. <laughs> but I don't think that John Beeline would be the – I don't think he'd be the answer for the future of this team moving forward, no. You have me in shambles right now. I just I want that known. I am like your puppet on a string right now. Uh, so, rank. yeah, you are pulling rank. I uh, – a couple of things for me on this. This is never going to happen. It's not going to happen. With that said, let me give you a bunch of reasons why it could happen. <laughs> uh, John Beeline still owns a house in Ann Arbor. He never got rid of his house in Ann Arbor. He likes Ann Arbor. 
He's never left Ann Arbor, even though he literally did leave Ann Arbor, the place that would have put a statue up, the place that would have named the court after him, the place that, I mean, he vacated a team that could have won a national championship a couple of years ago. That court or that that roster consisting of Isaiah Livers and John Teske, they were ready to win, right? He abandons it. He just leaves it out in the cold, right? Because he couldn't pass up coaching Colin Sexton and Omir Ashik for a, a three-month period, right? Insanity. Uh he never left, never left Ann Arbor. He kept the, the house that entire time. You're telling me you left that place in the way that you did overnight, like no heads up, just leaving overnight, but you still want to hold on to a piece of Ann Arbor, John? That's what you were doing? You, you knew there'd be backlash, and you still want that to be a place of residence for you and your family in Ann Arbor, John? Interesting. Kind of feels like he's always maybe had something in the back of his mind that something might happen in Ann Arbor to me. I'll add this. John Beeline was very close, a lot closer than people realize, to getting back into head coaching after the Cleveland thing fell apart. I don't know if that's still where he's at, but I have I have a good feeling from talking to enough people that this almost happened. Not at Michigan, but he was willing to relocate for a job as late as this past off season, like it, there, there was a chance that was going to happen. In fact, there was like a verbal agreement in place that that was going to happen before something changed. So I think the interest in his heart is still there to coach. His home is still there. It'd be a lot easier for John Beeline to pick things up and start coaching quickly in Ann Arbor than it would be anywhere else. And he was ready. I don't think Michigan will ever go there though. I think Michigan will correctly realize that there are better, younger candidates that uh, will be here. You want to find your coach for the next decade. You don't want to find your coach for three years. Yeah, I agree. Um, also, before I make this next statement, is b still in his role with the Pistons? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. Uh, otherwise, I would say that the last two things that b has touched have gone to shit. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's why don't under, overextend yourself, people. That's the wasn't left. B, wasn't Beeline like changing jumpers? Yeah. Okay. Beeline got a little overconfident. That's what happened. I just don't want to see my dog Beeline go out like Patino. <laughs> I think he already like flip spin zone. He already has gone out like Patino. He needs to fix it. He needs to go back in. So he can go out unlike Patino. Can I make one last statement about NIL and portal stuff? Yeah. I'm low-key sick of people acting like it's so hard, to be honest. I really am. Just get the donors and get their money and write the check. Stop complaining about it. Yeah. You know who's horrible at it? No, I'm not going where you think I'm going. You know who's horrible at it? Who? Juwan Howard. Yeah. He's horrendous at it. He won't like do a golf outing to fundraise. He just won't do it. He's too lazy. He doesn't like it. So um, I actually will say specific to B. I think Beeline, people are going to give him a bad rap and say, cause he's old and did things his own weird traditional way. And he wasn't a cool guy that he would have been really bad at that. I think I disagree strongly. Michigan donors loved John Beeline and I, I think the portal side of it is different. He might not have been great in the portal, but Beeline was a lot more creative of a recruiter than people give him credit for. Like I, I agree with that. But do you think they still had that same love for him after he left them? No, now it might be totally different. That's but what I'm saying. That's like what I'm when, saying. If he would have stayed here through, I think a lot of people are like, oh, Beeline's getting out before the game changes. He doesn't want to deal with it, which might have been true. But I think the truth is like he would have I think he would have figured it out. Like he's not Beeline's not as stubborn as your coach is, where he's just, I'm not doing it. That's bad for the sport. Beeline would have been like, it's the sport. I need to go find gems that played two minutes at Cal Poly and now can be 35-minute guys in the NBA 12 months from me now. Like, he, he would have been great at that evaluation. So, we'll see. Um, yeah, it's not going to happen. Would I want it to happen? Yeah. Yep, I would. Is See, if, I'm Michigan, if I'm a Michigan fan, I would not want it to happen. That's my that's my take. I think the alternative is like Porter Moser. 
we're already going to Porter. What about the other guys you named? What other guys? Like you brought up some other candidates the other day on the episode. Dusty May wants a better job. Sean Miller, I think, would take it and be really good. I bet Michigan won't hire him. Hmm. Um. Yeah, outside of that, I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel great about this. I don't like it. Got to get you in the board meetings. I need you and Ward hand in hand. I don't ever want to go anywhere inside the walls of that university ever again. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to do it. 